Lucio Pitbull. Good left hand. Season four Bellator Featherweight Tournament Champion. The fight is over. Now a two-time winner of the Featherweight Tournament. Congratulations from this crowd and everybody at Bellator to the new Featherweight World Champion, Patricio Pitbull. Give it up for him. Inside the Bellator cage, he too makes his U.S. debut, introducing the undefeated fighter from Natal, Brazil. This is Patricio Pitbull Friday. Where he has the definite advantage over Romero. He's the Brasileiro champion. That's the Brazilian nationals. A lot of times that tournament is harder than the world's. The best in Brazil, a lot of times can't travel to the Worlds, but they can travel to the Nationals, and he was a national champion in 2003. That means he has great jiu-jitsu going for a leg lock. Pitbull taking his time, up kick by Romero. Now, I like what Pitbull's doing here. He's crowding Romero, not letting it back to his feet, going for the toe hold now. Toe hold ankle lock. Oh, that is tight, rolling hard for it. Romero's in trouble, out of this. trying to spin out of this is Will Romero. Patricio Pitbull Freire looking for the quick finish in his Bellator debut. Transitioning to the heel hook. You see he has that left leg of uh, Romero trapped going for the heel hook. Looking back at it, he's turning that leg hard. Cranking on it is Pitbull. Now this is a dangerous move. If you don't tap, it can tear the entire knee. Very difficult to get out of this one. Romero, no panic in his face. Looks calm. Switching to the inverted heel hook now. This is even more dangerous. That's There's it. the tap and that's it. Just like that game set match, Pitbull Friday. Beautiful technical, outstanding job by Patricio Pitbull. Once he doesn't, he transitions to the other side. When it goes for the same move and as he switches, goes to the other side again. There's always something there and once again, he's underneath the heel. That's why we call it a heel hook. As soon as he got that, nothing to do but tap. You're, you're moving on to the semifinals, taking on fellow Brazilian Wilson Hayes. What do you think of that matchup? A semifinal vai ser com o Wilson, cara. O que está esperando aí agora? It's going to be an awesome fight. It's going to be jiu-jitsu against jiu-jitsu. But I want to knock him out. I want to, to go for the knockout. Well, you guys hear it first. Big hand for Patricio Pitbull, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. See Hayes out of that southpaw stance, but not closing his fist with the left hand, just keeping an open palm. I think he's just trying to feel it out and get Patricio Pitbull to commit to something so he can drop in and take him down. I really don't think he has that much interest in, in boxing with Pitbull. Okay. You see, Patricio Pitbull has, oh, nice flying knee. Then caught by Wilson Hayes. So, uh, gonna... You see, Pitbull has great takedown defense, excellent balance. Pitbull holding the guillotine, not sinking it in. Hayes holding the single leg. Bit of a stalemate right now. is you don't want to you know, go really hard. Oh, nice knee. That's a really nice knee. Another one by Pitbull Friday. That'd be the fight on most people. We got to remember these 145 pounders. <laughs> one, two. The two, the left landed by Friday. You know, Freddy locking up that, that guillotine position, but really just using it defensively, trying to control the head of Wilson Hayes to not give up the takedown. He said that uppercut. He's trying to catch Wilson Hayes coming in with that right uppercut. Flying knee by Pitbull Freddy. That's three knees landed by Freddy in this round. You know, we're not seeing a lot of submission attempts, not a lot of sweeps, but Wilson Hayes, when he was on top in that, when he was getting the takedown, he was staying on top in that first round, and you don't need to know jujitsu to see that. Oh, beautiful takedown by Patricio. Belly to belly suplex by Pitbull Friday. Great Even refereeing in this great refereeing in this bout by Jason Herzog. He has stayed out of the way and let the action flow. Hey, the best referee is the one you don't notice. In this fight, I've not no noticed Jason Herzog at all. Way cinch held by Pitbull Friday. But you see Pitbull, he's not committing to anything in terms of the takedown or the grappling. He's light. When he feels he's in trouble, he just lets it go. All scores about exactly the same at 29 to 28. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And now the second finalist in the Bellator Tournament Featherweight Division, Patricio Pitbull Friday. Perfect game plan for Wilson Hayes. Stayed on the feet, you stayed patient. Tell us about that game plan. The plan was to go for the knockout, but unfortunately, Wilson's a very tough guy. 
and uh, we did a very good show. Uh, we did our best, and I hope people enjoyed our fight. I want to present a very good fight in the finals. You know, he hasn't gotten a takedown out of any of these positions, and like you were saying, takes a lot out of the gas tank. Let go and get busy here. Throw some punches and knees. A slap on the back. Two more slaps on the back by Patricio Pitbull. <laughs> He's just making a point there. <laughs> a great balance. Carl Honey trying to drive through, just not successful. A reminder that you can watch this broadcast of Bellator 37 in its entirety later tonight. Joe, a, a quick question. When guys train and they, oh, I'm working on my wrestling, they haven't been doing it 20 years. Is it a case of trying something? He's not, you can tell his takedown isn't quite at that high level yet. Does he have a little too much faith in it? No, what, what he's doing, well, he's, got, he's got his back taken right one now. One hook in. Well, Patricio Pitbull looking for the rear naked choke with one hook in. Karahanian playing defense at the moment, trying to turn, trying to posture onto his right hip. He worked with a lot of freestyle wrestlers. You can tell the double leg trying to cut across. He needs to work with a Greco wrestler, attack the body, more of a fist fight. Both hooks in now. This is not where he wants to be. Pitbull tenacious on the back. I discovered that last week. <laughs> yes, phenomenal, phenomenal jujitsu. I almost discovered that too. Saved you, by the bell first close. round, baby. <laughs> I'm on the same page here with Jimmy. I think uh, it's uh, two rounds to zero. I think if he puts his foot on the gas tank, uh, I mean on the gas right now, he wins his fight hands down. I'd like to. Big like overhand right miss there by Karahanian. Good left hook. That's Side kick. You noticed at the end of your fight, Joe, when he was in desperation mode, Karahanian let it all hang out, but it leaves him vulnerable. You see Pat Patricio still picking a good left hand. Now look at the finish, it's Patricio Pitbull, the end could be near! And that is it! Just like that, Patricio Pitbull scores the TKO, he is through to the semifinals. Maybe set up by some right hands, bang, right hand right over the eye. Karhanian kept, Karhanian kept coming, it's a left hook Jeez. right on the chin that dropped him. And Patricio, outstanding finishing instincts all over Karahanian. Lefts and rights, and that right hand up, he could not protect himself. I think that's a good stoppage, Joe. First round submission victory versus Zach George. Patricio Pitbull in the quarterfinals, a third round TKO versus Georgie Karahanian. That was a nice one, too, by Patricio. Changing levels, going for a single leg. And that's a difference in their takedown philosophies. Pitbull generally goes for the double leg, not a lot of single leg takedowns. You see here, exactly, he goes right for the hips, doesn't really stay with the single leg. We can waste a lot of energy. He likes to be around the hips. With the double leg and the waist cinch, you either get it or you don't. You can waste a lot of energy trying to get a single leg to the ground. Patricio now in triangle position. Hayes a little too slick for that. Left hand, then a counter left by Hayes. Straight right hand by Pitbull. Pitbull now switching southpaw, hitting with that lead right hook. Another good combination by Pitbull. Straight right Wilson hand, he's backing up to trouble. He's in big trouble. Patricio Pitbull looking to finish. Move Wilson, there we go. But Pitbull still has a lot of respect for Wilson Hayes' grappling, but now he's teeing off. Hayes is in big trouble. The is it. there, and that is it. Patricio Pitbull with the third round TKO is through to the final. Rights, lefts, man, everything hitting right on the button. That left hand on the chin, that was the beginning of the end. So accurate, right on the jaw, no one can take those. Trying to jump in, lunge in, rather than press in, and that's how Patricio is able to catch him. He's lunging, he's not pressing. See what happens when a warrior like me gets back in there. <laughs> Flurry of punches there by Patricio Pitbull. Well defended, though, well covered by Daniel Strauss. Good right Beautiful hand. Beautiful right hand. Best punch of this round. You surprised by his improvements in his wrestling game since he fought you for Patricio no, Pitbull? No, I'm definitely not. He's a he's a warrior professional fighter. I knew that what he did would do is, uh, you know, put his whole camp into wrestling, focus everything he has in wrestling, and you can see that in the last few fights. He's had the end of round takedowns every single round. Nice left hand by Strauss. Now Pitbull tapping his chin, saying, "Come on," trying to lure him in. 
You know he has a counter right waiting. This is the game plan that he, he's got to set up. Strauss is such a mellow, easygoing personality, but I think that really bothered him. Seemed as though he was upset by the showboating there from Patricio Pitbull. But suckered him right into a takedown. I think that was his plan. Get him to move forward, shoot for a takedown of his own. If he can get one with a minute left, maybe ice this round, but good defense by Strauss. In that first strike. <laughs> Showboating from Patricio Pitbull, and that's really out of character. For it him. is. I think he has a plan. He's not a guy who typically Watch. showboats. He's trying to draw Strauss in to either counter right or get that takedown that he likes to get at the end of the round. Flying knee from Patricio Pitbull. You see the balance. He threw the flying knee and then landed on his feet. Incredible balance by the Brazilian. Closing seconds of this fight. Strauss looking for a suplex, and he gets it. Entertaining fight. All for the winner by unanimous decision now. The season four Bellator Featherweight Tournament Champion, Patricio Pitbull. Last year, he was the runner up in Bellator's Featherweight Tournament. This year, he is the champion of Bellator's Featherweight Tournament. Patricio Pitbull, just 23 years old, now 17 and 1 in his I am here career. with your season four Featherweight Tournament winner, Patricio Pitbull. Hard fight from beginning to end. That's what you expected. Is that what you trained for? What was going through his mind in that third round? There were lots of things going on in my mind, but the primary thing was the victory and have the shot at the belt for the first time in my life. Jared Dan oh, good right hand. It's dropped and Pitbull looking to finish quickly. He pounces. He's got a great guillotine. Jump guard, close guard, guillotine from Patricio Pitbull looking for the rapid fire submission finish. And Downing pops his head free. Downing is in the black trunks with the yellow lettering. Pitbull is in the black trunks with the white lettering. He's gotten the worst of it so far, but still very much in this fight. Just missing with that right hand. Pitbull against Pat Curran, very effective with the leg kicks. We haven't seen any so far. Downing's got to get that jab going, kind of disrupt the timing of those power shots from Pitbull. Man, another one. Dropped again as Downing right back to his feet. And a clubbing right hand from Pitbull. That's how Pitbull throws, right hand, left hook. Saw how easily Pitbull defended that shot from Downing. Final minute of round one. Another good left and right combo. Bellator fans, remember, you are the fourth judge. If you don't have it, get the Bellator app now, available for iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and all Android operating systems. Also, let us know your scorecard round by round on Twitter, at Jimmy Smith MMA, at Sean Wheelock. Of course, they're going to agree with you 100% of the time. Oh, he'll try hand hand, and Downing again back up. Slipping that knee now, Downing looking for the single leg. Got caught a little bit of the shin there. Good left hand by Pitbull. Three flash knockdowns, almost four. Uh, I call that four. Big oh. shot, this fight is over. Man! That left hook, right cross combination. That was the money shot throughout this fight. Down to just not really having an answer for the power punches of Patricio Pitbull. When he fights for us, fans, we'll see him again in Bellator. Patricio Pitbull, give it up for him. He is a two-time Bellator tournament finalist and a one-time Bellator tournament champion. He now has pro MMA victory number 18. Great effort for Patricio Pitbull. He feels he's the superior striker. The question is, who's going to initiate here? Pitbull usually very aggressive from the outset in fights. He's taking his time here. Oh, good left hand. He's out of hand. That is it. A lightning strike win for Patricio Pitbull. He is through to the final four. It was a short left hand. Look at this. Bang. Left hand right under the ear. Short left hook. Man, sort of a check left hook moving backward. Threw it just at the right time. It's like getting hit with lead, man. Nunez is done. Everybody knew you were going to come out and strike. Did you think it would land that early? I've been very trained for this fight. I trained hard at Team Nogueira. 
I'm gonna run after this belt with all my power. Give it up for him, Patricio Pitbull, ladies and gentlemen. The winner through to the featherweight tournament final. Looking to use the judo. See, fitting in for the throw and good defense from Patricio Pitbull. The question is, does Pitbull want to take down these positions or does he want to break away and land strikes? Into the stomach thrown by Patricio Pitbull. Looking for the outside trip. Very tactical on the ground. Three left hands now from Patricio Pitbull. Part and a half guard of Gehetto. To the body. So this is what he doesn't want is Pitbull with space. You know, the question is, what is his game? What did they train for? Probably something like this. Beautiful elevation by Pitbull. Jimmy, your scorecard round one. 10-9 Pitbull. But he controlled that first round on the ground, which Gehetto thought would be his world. Surprisingly, not much striking. Big takedown from Pitbull. Surprising, at least, from Pitbull's perspective. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't broken away and gone for more kickboxing. A rare kick from Fabricio Gehetto. Oh. Shakes his head, no, pops right back up after the right hand. Inside left, counter right from Pitbull. We've reached the third and final round of the featherweight tournament semifinal number two. Gehera looking for the takedown on the level, change the outside trip and he gets it. And immediately the sweep. Back to their feet, and look at the tenacity from Pitbull as well. Gehetto trying to win that battle on the left side, has the underhook. Has to bridge up, push up, and get some space, just like that. For the briefest of moments, Pitbull had full mount and into the half guard of Gehetto. All see the fight exactly the same, 30 to 27. All for the winner by unanimous decision now. A featherweight tournament finalist, Patricio! Pitbull! Patricio Pitbull, the first three-time Bellator tournament finalist in Bellator MMA history. What did you think of that performance by Pitbull? Hey, you, you can't take anything away from Pitbull. He's a tough, tough fighter, you know, been around tough, very good. Two tough guys will be taking one another on in the featherweight tournament final. Justin Wilcox versus Patricio Pitbull, ladies and gentlemen. So you will see it live right here on Spike TV, November 15th. Justin Wilcox, NCAA Division I wrestler at Edinburgh University. How will his ground Are game fare against the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Patricio Pitbull? Round number one. Fade from Pitbull, you see Wilcox trying to come forward, now backing off. That's the danger coming in, is that left hook of Pitbull. Even with that lead hand, there's a good jab, there's a good left hook. You can download the Bellator app now, it's free. Score our fights in real time as you're the fourth judge. Good right hand, that hurt him. Oh, that Big right hand, hand from Pitbull, now pouncing. That was on the forehead, it still rocked him. And Pitbull very heavy handed, Wilcox in trouble again. Gasper Oliver taking a close look at these strikes. Relentless is Patricio Pitbull. He's now taking finish in round one. Wilcox still trying to move, and now he's flat. That is it! TKO victory for Patricio Pitbull, and he has won his second Bellator featherweight tournament. Wilcox had no answer for the punching power of Patricio Pitbull. Every time he touched him, he hurt him. That jab one-two combination. That rocked Wilcox happened throughout the fight. Every time we land these straight shots, Wilcox would go down. In that last sequence, Pitbull swarmed him, put pressure on him, wouldn't let him off the hook. And when he flattened out, when he physically flattened out on the mat, that's when the referee had seen enough. Patricio, it seems like every time you touch Justin Wilcox, you put him down. How did you know you were going to get that finish at the end? We heard our opponent. We have to be wary that they could come back. And that's, that's what I did in the beginning. But when I felt that he was hurt, I went for the finish. Another tournament title. How does it feel to get a shot at the belt once again? This is my dream. I'm ready. I'm ready for all the war. 
You ready? He's ready for another war. Give it up for the featherweight tournament champion, Patricio Pitbull, ladies and gentlemen. From lateral movement, especially. Slipped by Kerr, and Pitbull pounces. And not getting through. Pitbull looking for the first takedown of the fight. Going down to his knees, immediately right back up. 90 seconds remaining around one. Kern very good with the switch, very good with that wrestling escape. Looking for wrist control here, but Pitbull able to put pressure on, but way too high. Over the top as he was looking for the rear naked choke. Too high, too aggressive, Jimmy. Very true. Jimmy, how did you score round one? Man, incredibly close first round, very hard to score. I gave it 10-9 Pitbull by the barest of margins. Got the takedown, both landed punches. I thought Pitbull landed with a little bit more authority. But man, that could easily go either way. A slip on the jump, Nate Kern immediately back up and then shoves off Pitbull to get distance. Look at that leg kick. One thing, oh, good left hook. Kern right back to his feet again, Pitbull pounces. Landing right hands, the uppercut. Counter right from Kern. Now, Kern looking for the level change. That is not a good sign. Pat Kern going for the takedown. I think he's trying to clear his head, Sean. Short, sharp elbow. Pushing down Pitbull as Kern. Then the big knee. The champion, Pat Kern, 20. Oh, my God. And he is dropped. Right back to his feet. But again, Pitbull pounces. Nicely done on the throw. And again, Kern to his feet. Pitbull smells blood. Can he keep up the aggression? Knee to the body from the Brazilian. Kern is not the fighter who's going to lay in close guard. No, he will not. Pitbull on the ground, he makes a mistake. He's going to catch it. Pitbull, trickle of blood. That appeared in round two under his right eye. Now cut on the bridge of his nose. Now it's been very close. Minute number 20 of this fight, we will go a maximum of 25 minutes. Kern suddenly getting active with the jab. That's when Kern's really effective. Two, three jabs. A beautiful leg kick again. Just thudding. Spinning Pat Kern with that power, taking him off balance. Kern slightly nice right cut hand. on the bridge of his nose now, Jimmy. Kind of uh, grazed Pitbull. Good right hand again. Once again, a coin flip round. Pitbull looking for the takedown, and he hits it. Back going, Pat Kern going for the guillotine. Weeps, excellent chokes. Come on, guys. Shabalat Shamalaya found out how good his guillotine is. He can finish you from here. Call for action. There's the sweep. McDonald on the sweep. Beautiful. But cannot hold Pitbull down. He just drives Pitbull to the ground. Still scrambling. So maddening about this fight, about this rivalry. One thing goes the other way, and the other guy walks home with the belt. Volume versus the single power of Pitbull. Is he going to think he needs a finish in this fifth round? Because he certainly might. Good oh, shot. Good on shot. The inside. Pitbull drops Curran. Another good left hook. Curran definitely wobbled, but back to his feet. And it hurt him. Pat Curran needs to come back and hurt Pitbull. Because he definitely got rocked. Another chopping, thudding outside kick from Pitbull. Then the right hand. Counter left jab from Curran. That's been the story of this fight to me. Pat Curran landing good combinations, tight, sharp. And then later on in the round, Pitbull coming back with power punches. Minute number 50 between these two fighters. And again, back to his feet. Pitbull just walking through the jab, coming forward. Current trying to explode back. Big right hand by Pitbull, then the left. The knee, the right hand, stepping forward, and there is the bell. Now the new Bellator featherweight world champion, Patricio Pitbull.
life-changing moment for Patricio Pitbull as Scott Coker puts the championship belt around his waist. I'm here with your winner and new Bellator Featherweight World Champion, Patricio Pitbull. All I have to ask is how does it feel after a fight like that, after all you've been through to have this belt around your waist? It's a dream come true. I've been waiting for this for a long time, and I have to thank all my team, you know, my brother and everyone else for this victory. And I am proud to say congratulations from this crowd and everybody at Bellator to the new featherweight world champion, Patricio Pitbull. Give it up for him.